Good night, teachers. Hello, good evening. Hello, Carlos. Carlos Enrique and Carlos William. Ahí estoy. Okay, everybody coming in. Okay, so we finished the last uh, class with the um, time, right? With the time, what time is it? Yes. And today we have Okay, so we have the to say knowledge check. Okay, this is where the times that we were practicing the other day that in the first block we had the two different forms, so two different ways to say the time, right? This one we have a 20 past or 20 after two. Okay, or we say it's 2.20. Okay, first the hour and then the minutes. It's 2.20. Okay. In the other case, we can say first the minutes and then the, the hours. It's 20 uh, past 2. It's 20 after 2. In the other one, we have it's 10.27. Or is six fifty. Okay, so we have it's six fifty, it's ten to seven. And the next one we have it's a quarter to eight, or it's eight is sorry, sorry, it's a quarter to nine, or it's eight forty-five. Okay, it's a quarter to nine, or it's 845. And the next one, we say it's five past 11, or it's 11, it's five, it's, uh, let's say it's five past 11, is 1105. 1105. It's a quarter after so three, it's a quarter past three, or it's three fifteen. It's three fifteen. It's a quarter past three. See, there is more than one way to say the time. It's four thirty, or it's half past four. It's four thirty, or it's half past four. Okay, so then we have the time. 
Okay. Um, what time is it in this moment? What time is it in this moment? It's 8.45. It's 8 in this moment? Ah, in this moment is 9, 9. It's 9 and 9, yes. That's correct, right? So that's nine, nine. And what time do we finish the class? It's nine. It's nine? It's nine o'clock. Nine what? Uh, we finish the class at uh, 10 p.m. We finish the class at 10 p.m. Okay, we finish the class now. Wait. No. Este teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah. Este, eh, cuando, por ejemplo, son las nueve, cuando son antes de lo, de las, del minuto diez, eh, ¿pronunciamos el cero o no se pronuncia? Así como nueve y nueve y nueve, nine, nine, nine. Puede ser nine, nine, o you can say nine, or nine. No, las dos formas son correctas. Yes, yes. Mm, ok, thank you. Yes, good. ¿Pueden ver ese reloj ahorita? Ahorita es un cuadro, Lick, eh, donde estamos todos. Ok. Entonces, creo que en otra pantalla y quiero ver si me dejamos tres. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí. Ven una, hoja, una hoja verde. ¿Yes? Yes. Ven la hora, yes. Ven la hora digital. Yes. Yeah, no, Thirty. Okay, el análogo también. Okay, y ahora, what time is it? Primero el análogo y luego el digital. Seven thirty-five. Seven thirty-five. No, y en el análogo. Yes. Seven thirty-five. No. The, the same. Digital. The same. Digital. Digital. Análogo. Is the same? No. Yes, but how do you say it? Pero como se dice? It's seven five to eight. Five to eight. Okay, twenty five to eight. It's twenty five to eight. And it's seven thirty five. La misma hora, dicha de diferente forma, right? Twenty five to seven to eight. It's seven thirty five. Good. What time is it? Eight of twelve. Eight. Eight. Twelve. Eight. Oh, twelve. No. What is this oh. number? Eight. Eight twenty. Twenty. Uh -huh, twenty. Four in here. Twenty. 20 before 8. No. 20 after 8. 20 after 8. <laughs> no, it's, it's normal, okay? It's at the beginning, it's before, after, yeah. Okay, you can say 20 after 8 or 20 past 8. Okay, good. What time is it? Three o'clock. It's three a.m. Three de la madrugada. Look, everybody sleeping. Right? It's three a.m. Good. Then uh, it's three o'clock. Okay, or it's three a.m. Aquí una sola, right? This one. It's three or five. It's three or five. Yes, y en el análogo.
it's five. It's five after three. It's five after three, correct, Andrea. Good. Uh, let's see here. What time is it? It's three minutes to two. It's one. Fifty-eight. One fifty-eight. Uh huh. Or. Two minutes to two. Two to two. Two minutes after two. That's two, two, two. Two, two, two. Okay, two, two, two. Two minutes to two, right? But you don't say minutes, right? It's two, two. Then you say, for example, so then they what, right? Two, two, two. Or 158. O sea, aquí ayuda más el, el digital, right? I'm going to stop here. What time is it? Five thirty. Five thirty or It's half past five. Yes, Henry, that's correct. Okay, it's half past five or it's five thirty. No problem. Good. Okay, so this is the time. Not. Okay, here. What time is it? 550. 5? 555. 555, correct. Okay, 555. Or it's 5 to 6. Okay, yes. 5 to 6. Good. Okay, people, good. Okay, so this is, you know, uh, a way you can practice the time, right? And say, for example, what time is it? Good. Then we have after the time. We have the falling intonation and the rising intonation, okay? Uh, in this other video, we are going to practice listening and pronunciation of uh, some questions. Yes, no questions and information questions. Okay, the information questions, remember when we speak the intonation at the end of the question goes down. Okay, for example, if I say, where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, are you from El Salvador? Are you from El Salvador? So the yes no question up at the end. Are you from El Salvador? Okay, and then I said, where are you from? No, where are you from? Okay, so you're going to listen uh, to the video and watch the video. Pay attention to the intonation, up and down up and down, rising intonation and falling intonation.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. And WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? Okay, you see, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? So you see the N al final, up. And in this one, what's she doing? Goes down. Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Okay. For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. All right. Follow. In general, we Okay, good. Now let's see. Um, okay, Carlos Enrique, can you read the questions? Okay. Is she getting, getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, good. Now, uh, Henry?
Can we Henry? Rhonda? Read the questions, please. Is she is she getting up? What is she doing? Are they sleeping? What are they doing? What are they doing? Yes. Okay, good. Uh let's see now we have what's the next one. Yes, you can name here. And Jose. Sí. Read the four questions, please. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Okay. Next. Yes. What's she doing? What are they doing? All right. Sí. Good. And uh, elderly? Um, okay. Is he getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, good. Nice. And Ileana? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Good. Ala. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Good, Aurelia. Aurelia Suleyma. No, no, no. Okay, Andrea. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Thank you. Okay, good. Then we have uh, Carlos William. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Doing. 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 Yes. Okay. Harrison. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, good. What are they doing? Remember doing, doing, doing. Nice. And then we have a uh, Flor del Carmen. Buenas noches. Hello, Robert. La primera no, no, no la puedo pronunciar. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? up? Getting up. Getting up. Getting. Getting. Getting up. Algo así, verdad? Okay. Is she? Is she? Getting up. Getting up. Getting. Getting. Getting up. Get. 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 Get it up. Getting up. Yes. Get it up. Okay. okay. Uh, are they sleeping? All right. What's he doing? Doing. Doing. Uh, what's, uh, what are they doing? Do, do, do. Doing. Doing, yes. Doing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Claudia. Okay. Claudia Lorena. Uh, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? I mm. meant for this. Jaime, Jaime, Jaime James. Okay, Damaris. You see, probably uh, is she getting up. Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, good. 
Good, good, good. Probably Jaime maybe has a problem with the microphone. He's writing in the chat. Okay, good. So then this is, for example, the intonation. We can follow these two simple rules. Intonation. Recuerden, la reglas básicas, yes, no questions, up. WH questions, down, falling. Okay, listen. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay. Now let's... Uh... We're going to move into the questions. Okay, so here we have, we're not going to listen, no la vamos a escuchar, sino que vamos a leerlas, right? For example, the first one, what is the number one? Uh, let's see, Ileana, what is the number one? Read the question and tell me if it is falling intonation or rising intonation. Okay, um, are you waiting at the hold? Uh, 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 rising, rising intonation. Rising intonation. Okay, good. All right. Uh, Andrea Gabriela, number two. Lea la pregunta y me dice si es rising okay. or falling. What are you doing now? Okay. Rising or falling? It falling. Falling information. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Person number three. Right mm, or four. What time is it? Mm -hmm. Is it right or falling? Follow. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Falling. Falling. Mm -hmm. Falling. This one. Sí. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gerson. Uh, Elmer. Elmer Ortiz. Number four. Uh, it's, it is my night. Uh, falling. Is it midnight? Feeling. Falling? Feeling, let's see, falling. Falling, are you sure? Yes. That's your last answer, yes. Final answer? Yes. Okay. Number five, Claudia Lorena. Cinco, verdad? Yes. What color is? Is is the shirt? Okay. Falling. Falling. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Flor del Carmen. Flor del Carmen. La segunda vez que me dejen visto. Flor. 
Okay. Um, Janet, Janet Guevara. Are you from Thailand? Yes. Yes, rising. Rising intonation. Okay, are you from Thailand? Rising intonation. Okay, now we have just one mistake. It's gotta be rising. Okay, now we're going to listen. One, are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Three, what time is it? What time is it? Four, is it midnight? Is it midnight? Up. Five, what color is his t-shirt? What color is his t-shirt? Six, are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Are you from Thailand? Rose up. Okay, just remember, yes, no questions, up, rising. WH questions, down, falling intonation. Okay, no questions? Okay. Uh, Creería yo que mañana estaríamos terminando básicamente esta sección para que también tengan ya tiempo para llenar el, el, el examen y podamos revisarlo el miércoles, que sería una clase antes de terminar el, el curso que termina el jueves. Y el jueves, pues, tendríamos este, solamente que alguien haya terminado, que tenga algunas dudas. Y luego haríamos actividades de preguntas de los temas que hemos visto y donde podríamos avanzar un poquito más para el siguiente curso que va. Buenas hace, noches, ¿no? teacher. Hello, good evening. Soy Eunice, no sé si ya pasó lista. Sí, ya pasé y le puse. No, no bromas, no, ahorita no. Ya ahorita, en un minuto lo pasamos. Ah, vaya. Ok. Yes, okay, so we have this one. It says lesson by the end of this class, we will be able to ask uh, and answer questions, WH questions additionally. Pero si ahorita veo que hay un poquito más, la voy a pasar ahorita a lista, no es que hay un más que desconecte por alguna razón. Okay, que ver si no hay otro que esperando. No, no more. Okay. Monday, 20th. Okay, let's begin with Ada. Okay, Ada. Presentation. Sarah. Okay, Adina Areli. Adina, no le he visto. Okay, Andrea Gabriela, sí, ¿verdad? Present teacher. Brian Steven, ahí no lo he visto. Brian, Brian. Okay. And then we have uh, Carlos Enrique Peraza. Yes, right? Yes, Carlos. Present. Okay, Carlos William. Yes. I person, teacher. Okay, Claudia Lorena. Yes. Presente. Presente, teacher. Mari Esmeralda. Yes. Present. Elderly. Present, teacher. Yes, sir. Elmer Ortiz. Present. Okay, Esmeralda Guadalupe. Present teacher. Esmeralda. Eunice. Present. Good. Flor del Carmen. Flor, Flor, Flor. Present. Ah, oh, there you are. Person. <laughs> Person Alexander. Present. Present. And okay. Helen Elizabeth. No. Henry Adrián, yes, right? Uh -huh. Eliana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Iris Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Irma Adriana. 
present. Yes, uh, Irving Josael. I'm Antonio. Yes, I'm Antonio, yes. Jaime Renberto. Jaime Renberto, no me lo visto hoy. Jaime, Jaime, no, no está Jaime Renberto. Ok, en Janet Fidelina Guevara, yes, ¿no? Presente. Jessica Saraí, también, right? Yes. 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 And Jocelyn? Jocelyn? No, oh, Joel Ernesto? Cruz Pérez? Oh, uh, Maria Cristina? No. And Odilia Suleyma? Present teacher. And Reina Ciamara? Hey, Mr. Raymond, so you can't miss it. Okay. Good. Okay, people, good. Ahí estamos ya. Con asistencia. Si alguien que no escuche su nombre, me lo, me lo dice, okay? Perfect. Then we're going to see the, the questions with WH questions. But for the present continuous, right? The present continuous, remember, is the action that we are doing in the moment. Okay, and we talk about present continuous this in this moment precisely. Okay, what are you doing? I am speaking. What are you eating? I am eating a hamburger. What are you drinking? I'm drinking water. Okay, so this is what we're going to see in, in this video. plus some kind of compliment. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what. Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's. So I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums.
capitalize the first one. Look at the images on plus subject. Okay, so I want to Okay, here they only have what are you doing, what this, what that, only using W, uh, W, or what. But remember that uh, here we can use other W, H words, such as what, where, um, when, why. Uh, let's see, for example, what, where, when, why. And probably how and I guess how I'm gonna use how. Okay. This one's um there are some others, right? Then after this, we're going to use R. S or M, the verb to be. And then we have a subject, and then we have a verb in ING. For example, what are you? ¿Qué otro verbo que no sea doing podemos utilizar acá? What are you? Watching. What are you watching, right? Yes. What are you watching? Okay, what are you watching? Okay, where? Where? Are my pencil? Where are my, yes, but uh, yes, but what are my pencil is good, but Using the verb in ING. Aquí estamos viendo preguntas en presente progresivo. ¿Qué estás viendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás aquí? Ok, ando, ando, ando. Ok. Bueno, me pienso que está bien, pero eso es one object. What would be one with where? Where are you? Launching. Where are you launching? Where are you having? Having lunch. Uh -huh. Where are you having lunch? Yes, lunch. Okay, el verbo es having. Okay, good. When? When, working. When? when? Working. Uh -huh, but what is the sentence? Uh, um, when are you working? When uh -huh. are you... Okay, it could be. Okay, what else? Why? Why? Listening class. Okay, why are... Okay, I'm going to get L-I classes. It's already there. Why are you... Listening... to the class. Okay. Correct. And we can also have, how are you doing? Como le va? How are you doing? Okay, so that would be another one that we can use. Okay. Eh, esto es para que vean que hay otras WH words 
con muchos otros verbos que se pueden utilizar. Pero hay algo más. Si yo quito watching y pongo coming, ¿tiene sentido? Yes or no? No, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, No? No, no, yo creo que no tiene sentido. Okay, good. Yes, no tiene sentido. Okay. Where are you coming? And then if I say, where are you coming? And this one? ¿Tiene o no tiene? Sí, sí tiene. ¿Qué voy a decir más? Por 300 dólares, ¿tiene sentido o no tiene sentido? Where are you coming? O... Where are you going? Which one? Coming or going? Hello? Both? Sin miedo al éxito. Okay. Just one. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you coming? Okay. It's where are you going? It's a donde vas? Ok, no a dónde, a dónde vienes. Ok, so that would be yes, not the next. When? When are you coming? And this one? What about that one? Ah, sí, teacher, eso está correcta. Ok, yes. Yo lo había entendido ah. mal al anterior, sí, ajá. No, es ok. Ahora, es que es la intención de que veamos, por ejemplo, que van a ver que algunos verbos, no todos los verbos que tienen ING, por ejemplo, pegan o tienen sentido al utilizarlos, ¿verdad? no es para todos. O sea, uno tiene que ir viendo qué verbos tienen sentido y qué no. Por ejemplo, why are you coming? Yes or no? No. ¿Por qué vienes? Make sense? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Correct, right? Yes, this one, yes. Okay, why are you, why are you coming? Puede ser, ¿por qué vienes y por qué vas? Why are you coming and why are you going? Okay, ¿para dónde va? A la playa. Why are you going to the beach? It's raining. Eh, ¿para, dónde, uh, ¿Para dónde vienes? Ah, okay, ¿de qué dónde? Okay, ¿o por qué vienes a El Salvador? Why are you coming to El Salvador? To work, to visit, to, to visit my family. Okay, okay, why are you coming? Ok, entonces si ven por ejemplo con algunos sí, con otros no, este how are you coming, eh, podría tener sentido a decir cómo viene, ¿verdad? by plane, by car, how are you getting, entonces este sería más how are you getting, how are you getting there, cómo vas a llegar, cómo llegas, ok, so these are the The verbs with the ing form. Acá solo nos aparece en el video el what, the what are you doing, okay, para practicar la estructura, pero es bueno siempre saber que hay otras, otros verbos, right, in other wh words. Eh, ¿Preguntas? Okay. 
No. Ok. Uh, ¿Hay alguien que acaba de que ha entrado y que no hubiera pasado lista? Porque dice entró alguien dos más, creo. No. A todos fueron ya mencionados. Jessica, sí, está. No sé si a salir. Jessica sabe. Ok, good. Now let's see. For this one, I guess this one. Ok. Now. Plus, we have a question mark. Then, then of course. Now. M. What's. Let's listen yeah. and repeat. Okay, Los, Angeles, Los Angeles, 4 a.m. And it says, what are you doing? And there is an activity, right? What are you doing? What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Okay, 4 a.m. in Los Angeles. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Then expression right now, okay? Right now means ahorita, okay? She's sleeping right now. Está durmiendo justo ahora, okay? The second one. Mexico City, 6 a.m. Mexico City, 6 a.m. Pueden ir ustedes pronunciando con el micrófono apagado para que practiquen, right? Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? What's Marcos doing? Okay, what's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. They're having breakfast, okay? Si ven en esta expresión, they're having breakfast, they're having lunch, they are uh, having dinner, okay? Uh, dinner, lunch, and breakfast son sustantivos, right? So, para la acción de comer, en estos casos, utilizan having, right? En algunos casos van a ver take, pero lo más común es having. Okay? Having breakfast, having lunch, and having dinner. Brasilia, 9 a.m. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? What's Celia doing? She's going to work. She's going to work. London, 12 noon. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? What it, are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? What's he's working. Doing. He's working. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. He's eating dinner right now. Okay, this is another expression that you can use, having or eating. Tokyo, 9 p.m. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? What's, He's, what's Hiroshi doing? Watching television. He's watching television. Your city. Okay, this is, you know, your city, San Salvador. Or is that what it's uh, 9.59? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I am teaching English. You can say I am learning English. Uh, I am paying attention in class. Okay, I am what? Uh, taking notes, tomando notas, right? So you can use uh, different expressions. It's so I'm the last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, 
what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Hi everyone. It is uh, questions? Alguna pregunta o duda de la estructura, pronunciación? Um, I don't know. No problem? Okay, I guess there is no question. Okay, these are some questions that bueno, okay. ahorita no vamos a hacer el ejercicio, solo vamos a ver acá. Uh, it says instructions, answer questions about the pictures. Okay, for example, uh, Let's see, uh, Ada, what is Celia doing? What is Celia doing? Uh, wait a minute. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, no, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna practice. Not Celia. Is Victoria. Okay, Ada, what is Victoria doing? She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Perfect. Okay, she's sleeping. Hey, Jessica, Jessica Sarai, what is Marcos doing? What is Marcos doing? Here in the second picture. Jessica? No? Uh, Carlos Enrique, what is uh, Marcos doing? He's getting up. He's getting up, right? He's getting up, yes. And elderly. What is Sue, what are Sue and Tom doing? They are having the breakfast. They are having breakfast. Yes, that's correct. Ileana, what is Celia doing? Um, she's going to work. She's going to work. Okay, yes, you can say that. Good. Um, James and Anne. Uh, let's see. Henry, what are James and Anne doing? Henry, Henry, are you there? Uh, they are eating. E e e e Eating what? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast. Breakfast at noon or lunch? It's noon. Okay, it's noon, it's 12. Uh, lunch. Yes, it's lunch, that's right. And the last one, Andrea, is Andre. What is Andre doing? He is working. He is working, that's correct. Okay, good. Uh, well, as I was telling you. Okay, ya solo nos quedan un par de ejercicios. Okay, que nosotros los terminamos mañana. Entonces, practiquen con esto, que eso es lo que vamos a estar practicando mañana, right? What are you doing? What are you wearing? Uh, what are you playing? What are you cooking? Okay, different questions. And that's it. Si tienen preguntas, mañana iniciamos con... Con esto, ok, con preguntas que puedan tener de lo que hemos visto. Y si pueden empezar a hacer el examen, que ya hay, este, digamos, como de las primeras partes, ya pueden comenzar. O sea, no necesariamente tienen que terminarlo en el momento que lo empiezan, pero ya pueden ir respondiendo lo que, lo que ya saben. ¿okay? Ya lo que les va quedando como, 
dudas, las pueden responder ya mañana o después de mañana, para que, como les digo, ya el miércoles ya está terminado y ya tengan su, su diploma antes del último día. All right. People, have a good night. So, see you tomorrow. Have a nice Thank day. You. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.